Hello there. Today's riff is from Let It Be Me. As with all of the riffs in Kit and Caboodle, uh, once you master the one riff, it's played, performed many times uh, in the course of the song. So, fun to master. L uh, Let It Be Me was written by Gilbert Bucco and starts on a G. So G is just to the right of the first of the three black notes. We go from G to a D. That interval is a fourth, and that's an important one. In this piece, uh, in this riff, we see it a few times. So G, down to D, up one to E, and now another fourth to B. Up one to C, now down to G, another fourth, C, D, G, up a fourth. So did you see the pattern? G to D, that's a fourth. Then we go up one to E and have another fourth. Up one to C, another fourth. C again, D again. G, which is a fourth. So most of the notes in this riff have four beats. I'll count it through for you so you can see. One, two, three, four. 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 Uh, if you're watching closely, you might have seen I was doing some very fancy fingering where I was actually swapping uh, fingering while I was holding the note down. I'll just show you a little bit of that. And so on. It's really not necessary for you to do that. Um, it's a little bit automatic for me. The reason it happens is because you're trying to sustain the note for the full four beats. If you don't, there might be a small gap in between the notes. It's not a big deal. So if you play it all with just your index finger and there's a slight gap in between notes, it really doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you get the notes because then you can play along with the whole song, which is very beautiful, very poignant. Um, so I hope you enjoy mastering Let It Be Me. Practice it a few times. Remember the interval of the fourth because that will really help you get your head around the pattern that makes up the notes of this riff. Happy riffing!